Hi everybody, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides and Cheat Sheets, available from in30minutes.com or the In 30 Minutes Cheat Sheet Store. Today I'm going to be talking about Backstage View in PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint for uh, Microsoft 365. And if you could take a moment to follow my channel or like the video, if it helps you out, I would appreciate it. And what we have is PowerPoint on a Windows 10 laptop. And Backstage View is kind of that weird state you get to when you click on the File uh, tab. It doesn't show you a ribbon, it shows you something else. It shows you all of these options here. And this is kind of the area where you can uh, manipulate your document, you can check the version history, you can print it, you can do all kinds of other stuff. I'm going to briefly go over what it is. By the way, if you need to go back to your document, all you need to do is just click the uh, backwards arrow at the top left corner. That will bring you back to your presentation. Then to go to Backstage View, just click File. There's a keyboard shortcut. Uh, for it as well. So uh, when you come to Backstage View, usually you'll end, you'll start here at the home. This is actually a good place to be because if you want to create a new uh, blank presentation from a template or from just a complete blank, just click that and it will create a new one. It will not close the other presentation you have uh, going on. So I have this other presentation right here, the 2021 marketing plan. If I create a new presentation, that will just be a separate window, and I can get back to the old one uh, pretty easily if I need to. The other thing that I often use on the Home tab of Backstage View and PowerPoint are the recent presentations. So these are the presentations I've been doing in the past six months or so. You can also use the search function to find it if you need to do that. Now, if you go further down in these tabs, you can see other options. You can create a new one save a copy that's not quite the same as save as that you see in other uh, programs in the microsoft office suite microsoft 365 excuse me a uh, save a copy will just basically make a new copy of the same presentation and you can just give it a, a different name if you need to do that uh, one thing some people like to do is they like to export it so they click that and then you can create a pdf document so a pdf is a printable version of this document um, people often use them for handouts for presentations and the good thing about PDFs is they're very hard to edit so if you want to kind of create a fixed version of your document to share with people as a handout or whatever this is a good option right there um, other things you can do you can share the document you can uh, uh, share share it with collaborators this will start a whole process to um, you know email it to different people or uh, get, get, get a link that you can share with people printing if you want to print out the presentation uh, you can do it here. Different options for doing things like, for instance, uh, printing on both sides versus printing on one side, uh, grayscale because I don't have a color printer. And then finally, the other place that's pretty important to take a look at is info. And info is where you can do all kinds of things with a document that are actually pretty vital, especially for sensitive documents. One of them is protect the presentation. So you can just set it up so it only opens as read only. That means uh, people won't be able to edit it, which can be a useful thing. You can also encrypt it with password if you only want certain people to open it and those certain people have the password. Uh, you can add a digital signature. This will basically connect with a third-party service that Microsoft works with so you can uh, kind of create a digital signature to protect the integrity. So that's pretty useful as you can imagine. Version history is also a useful thing. If you want to check out an earlier version of the same document, you just press that and it would uh, let you choose from that. And then check for issues. This is for doing things like inspecting the document, making sure that hidden properties or personal information is not there. And a typical situation for a presentation is somebody else created the presentation, then they emailed a copy to you, and then you worked on it, and then you're supposed to submit it to the boss. Uh, but if the boss looks at the properties of the document, it might show the original creator uh, as the person who who actually created it, not you. And if that's an important issue, you want you want to check that out. So if you did inspect document, you could review that stuff. Checking accessibility and compatibility are other options that you can do. For more information on how to get the most out of PowerPoint, we have a whole bunch of resources, including the PowerPoint for Microsoft 365 Cheat Sheet and PowerPoint Basics in 30 Minutes by author Angela Rose. Both are excellent books. You can get them on the CheatSheets.store or in 30minutes.com. This is Ian Lamont. If this video helped you out, please take a moment to like it or follow me on YouTube, and I would be very grateful. See you next time.